guys, today I'm going to show you the best graphic settings for Yuzu emulator. So first, uh, what you want to do is when you open Yuzu, you want to go to emulation and then configure. So then configure and then you uh, we're just going to go through all of these uh, options here. So system. OK, so first we're going to go to G uh, CPU. That's uh, what we're going to try to do. So what user says, we recommend setting accuracy to auto. So mine is to auto, but if you want to say accurate, that's also a good idea. And yeah, so then there's graphics. So the API, mine's on OpenGL, because that's the best for my NVIDIA and stuff, since I'm on uh, NVIDIA graphics card. And then I put this to NVIDIA only, this uh, Glassim. So uh, this this one here is for AMD only. So um, yeah, and this is for NVIDIA only. So if you're on NVIDIA, use this one. But if you're on AMD, use this one. Now for this, uh, just copy all my settings here. So it's GPU. Uh, this vSync mode is on or off. Off makes it so that um, you get higher FPS. So that's better actually. Um, so this one, I put it to GPU, but that's the default. Uh, full screen mode is on borderless windowed. Uh, aspect ratio is on default. Uh, mine's on default. And resolution, it's the times one, but if you're going to do it for like better graphics and stuff, just put it on two times here. And then um, window adapting filter, uh, bilinear, I put mine to bilinear, anti-analyzing myth uh, method, none. And yeah, so uh, if you guys want my settings, just copy all of this right here. And then uh, I'm going to go to advanced. Okay, accuracy accuracy level. I put mine to high, but if you're on a better uh, PC, then consider putting it to extreme. And if you're on lower one, put it to normal. And uh, anastrophic filtering. Mine's on automatic. And then this is uh, uncompressed for its best best quality. And yeah, just copy all these settings right here. Just copy all this. My audio is mostly just default, so it's just auto and stereo. And yeah. So if you guys need some controller tweaks, um, so if you have a controller, uh, I have a Xbox 360 controller. Um, so yeah. Um, if you guys have a controller, just uh, uh, connect it to your PC, and then you'll see a option here. I don't have mine connected, but um, if you have one, you'll see it connected here. And when you have it, uh, consider putting it to Pro Controller or Handheld. That's uh, for the full controller. And uh, if you want to save your settings, you can say new and then um, put it, uh, put a name here. It will uh, say something here, create new profile. Then uh, I saved mine as PC, as you guys can see. And yeah, then you just say create and then save. Uh, if And if uh, you have it connected and everything and you selected your controller here, uh, then it will automatically um, map out everything for you except for the motion um, so yeah um, Mine is all this uh, so handheld uh, Is here and dock mode, but like I said uh, the mapping is is automatic if you connected your controller and selected it so yeah now we're uh, going to um, Test it on a game and I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, guys, as you guys can see, I'm in Pokemon Legends Arceus and my frame rate is pretty smooth. Uh, mine's capped at 30 FPS. 
as you guys can see in the bottom left corner and yeah so if you guys want to um, make it full screen you guys can go to view and then put it to full screen just make sure to copy all my settings here as well just so you don't miss anything same here uh, you can if you have a uh, actual Nintendo switch you can put a amiibo here or whatever and then capture screenshot all that multiplayer we don't have to worry about that then help that's also not an issue but yeah uh, click on full screen and then boom you you are basically playing on a Nintendo switch with better performance so yeah guys that was it for today's video make sure to like subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out, guys.